So the meeting of the Board of Health for Monday, July 8th, 2019 is in session. Um, Aria Zayas is not present today. I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes from June 10th, 2019. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Um, no variances tonight, and we're just gonna go on to action discussion. An update on the Canna Doyle products. Do we have an update? Uh, Kristen's not with us tonight, so uh, I don't think she's just something in the packet. No, I read it was just pretty much um, what we've already discussed. I just wanted to mention one thing. Uh, so I have been told that it, within the town there are some like CBD gummies and stuff being sold and that um, people in the town have asked them not to have them up front in the counters. If page, well, page three of three, hemp products not approved for sale is correct, they shouldn't be even be being sold in the Commonwealth at all right now? Mm -hmm, that's true. Okay. So I guess that's something we're going to have to look at in town. Is there, yeah. do we have any kind of monitoring of that? Um, like at some of the convenience stores? And going forward, I think what the plan would be is to go visit each one of those locations and inform them that, that they're not permitted to sell these things. Is that something we? We would handle. Okay, so um, because I know that that had come up at Eastern Wings of Hope meeting mm -hmm. and they were asked to actually remove the stuff mm -hmm. out of, um, like, because it was like where kids could see it. Sure. So I'm thinking that it probably is out there. And Oh, yeah. I know it's in, I can yeah. name six locations right now. Where oh, it's okay. Being sold. So, um, so that's but we were waiting for, for this firm directive right. from the state to tell us what to do. So. Right, exactly. All right. Because yeah. I know it was kind of up in the year, and then I was like, then I read this, and I'm like, oh, no, it looks like it's a pretty done deal now. Yeah, CBD is, and this is how it was explained, um, cannabinoid, uh, CBD oils, gummies, anything CBD is supposed to be grown from the hemp in Massachusetts and then licensed by MDOT. MDAR doesn't have a license in Asian It's a license that so you technically can't sell it. Who's the policeman on this? I gotcha. That, is it MDAR? Is it the Department of Public Health? Is it the Board of Health? Or is it the police department? You know, um, you know, marijuana is legal. This stuff doesn't essentially get you high. I mean, it's, it's one of those things. Is it going to be the next day? I, I don't know. So. And the hemp stuff itself, that's the Department of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's because the, the, those items, like uh, the edibles, you know, because they're ingesting it, food, you know, we would handle it. Okay. Um, the lotions, rubbing on oils, whatever, I don't know if that we have the uh, authority to tell them they can't carry those products. Okay. Okay. So we, we're still waiting to find out about that then, right? Right. Okay. All right. Anything, Chris? No. No. All right. Um, discussion of the nursing contract with Mar about Maureen Cotterelli as the Board of Health nurse. Yeah. Um, that, would, that would come under first. Okay. Um, as far as that, the, I know that the contract has been put forth and stuff, and it's just a matter of signing it and being approved and stuff like that. So. But I, I don't want to speak out of school. I understand. Stuff that Kristen is more in tune to because she's the one that wrote the contract and stuff. So. Okay. All right. We'll table that. And then anything with the apovirus, tick borne, and mosquito borne illness? I do have some information for you. And, and speaking with um, the director of Bristol County Mosquito Control uh, last week, mm -hmm. um, they said that there are traps uh, picking up the Culex. Uh, Melanora mosquito, which is the mosquito that carries triple E. The 10 year uh, mean for it is around 150 to 200 mosquitoes per trap. Right now, we're getting 1,200 of that mosquito that carries the disease. Because of all the rain we've gotten, oh. we're no longer in a drought situation. Oh, standing water everywhere. Uh, the swamps are full, the perfect breeding ground for the mosquitoes. We did larvicide in the beginning of the year, which is a good thing. 
And um, so that's, we're looking at, you know, next, she said that um, probably this year, next year, and the year after, they're gonna be pretty bad. All it takes is that bird flying up from Florida that actually carries the disease to come in, and there's that many more mosquitoes to cross infect. So just a advisory to the people at home to make sure they protect themselves with, you know, when you can, long sleeves, long pants, and bug spray with okay. DT. So okay. Did they raise our? Um... No, not yet. Really? No. They gotta, they gotta get positive pools. We haven't got a positive triple E pool. And the, the statement that was made to me is that if you get a positive triple E before Fourth of July, more than likely they're gonna do aerial spraying. Hmm. So, but right now we're. We're in a holding pattern, kind of waiting for it to happen. Hopefully it doesn't until late in the year, and then the cold weather will come in. And, and so you're saying that the deep free all natural sprays wouldn't? They're not going to hurt, but the state still recommends okay. bug spray with deep. Okay. And if you don't like the fact that deep's on your skin, they have long sleeves and pants and okay. spray under COVID. So. Okay. So that's a recommendation. So that's what I have up for you for off of virus right now. So. Okay. And then D, we have a betterment application for two Merlin Drive. Yeah, uh, green folder is the. Uh, oh. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, so, homeowner um, has a failed uh, Title V. You know, it's just going to repair the septic. Um, they are looking to take out the. Max thirty thousand dollar loan, um, and then they're going to move forward regardless, getting the perk application done and, and drawn up uh, the plans. But they're just looking for the thirty thousand for right now. Uh, they're in good standing with the town with their bills. And, okay, um, that's it. To Merlin Drive, Do you want to make a motion? Yeah, we'll make a motion to approve that. To Merlin Drive is a better than application. Second. All right. So then lastly, we have the inspectant agent's report. Is there anything? Well, I'm sure Tim doesn't have too much. He was, he was, gone, two weeks. He was gone for two weeks. Yay. So. <laughs> for Tim. Um, uh, we, we do have some um, complaints out there withstanding. Uh, one on Rockland Street, we had an above ground pool that was not being maintained and uh, causing mosquito and stuff that has been since removed so that's that's a good one um, in our favor that you know right in all weather they reacted very well um, we do have one in the mobile home park that is continual and I am writing a second water letter tomorrow for that that I inspected today um, and that's about it for that and we do have one other one a complaint that uh, food quality was not to snuff that the residents in and um, they want us to go at evening hours around 5 30 so we'll have to go next monday uh, in there and see what what we have for uh, food quality temps and stuff which i'm constantly concerned so this was a this was a restaurant uh, or? The, the residents in. oh okay okay next okay pops lookers, so. um, shaws I think the shaws. next to the shaws oh 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 okay i understand yeah. yes yeah. Yes. Wow. So. Mm. I had just done their inspection not even two months ago. Mm -hmm. It was fine. So, those All right. are the most recent complaints that we have. So, we do get a few. Um, there are other ones that were, we've gone on and they have public health issues. More. Yeah, it's more of talk to your neighbors. If you don't like something, maybe it'll help, help you out. It's not a public health issue where you can't write something out for it. Okay. Um, that's about it. That sounds um, good. Camps are um, almost done. I have one camp left to approve, and that's at the end of July. So. Where's that? Uh, the RBI camp oh. at Morsha Park. So that would be, I'd have to do that camp inspection. All the other camps are all set. So. And Tim takes care of the pools. We have one more. Well, besides the YMCA, because that one's open annually. Um, Meadow Hill, they had to change their um, Virginia Graham Baker uh, main drain cover. They have a shelf life, depending on what brand it is. Or it's either five, seven, or 10 years. And so theirs was uh, 
expired. It, it change of management there too. So and they have to get us water quality um, once a year. That's a requirement. So they're waiting for the lab to give us that back. But okay. So that it should be done this week. I, it won't be a problem. That's it. All right. Well, I think we can make a motion to end the meeting today at 6 10 p.m. Motion to adjourn. Uh, second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.